Hey everyone, Aaron from Aaron's Co. here, showing you how to assemble your brand new Classic Series Snow Throw. If you purchase your Aaron's Snow Throw online through a national retail chain store this season, it could show up in your driveway like this, the same crate we boxed it up in at our factory in Brilliant, Wisconsin. And though I'm certain the thought of some assembly required isn't the most appealing, I'm here to walk you through the easy step-by-step -step setup procedure. Trust me, if I can do this, so can you. So as long as you have a pair of gloves and your safety goggles ready, let's get started. Cut the bands and open the top of the crate. Locate the setup guide that's in the envelope adhered to the discharge chute. Each snow throw comes with a pictorial assembly guide that can be referenced when assembling this unit. These instructions are a duplicate of the material we're covering in this video. You'll notice the setup guide calls out a few tools. For this procedure, you'll need a socket wrench, a 3 8 inch socket, a 7 16 inch socket, a 1 half inch deep socket, a 9 16 inch socket, a needle nose pliers, and a cutting tool. Remove the cardboard inserts from the crate. Set the discharge chute and the chute rotation rod aside. Continue removing the remaining inserts and tear down the crate's walls. Tear the cardboard off the crate base to reduce the tripping hazard and to give yourself easier access to the unit. Cut the zip tie between the dash panel and the rest of the unit. Loosen, but do not remove the hardware retaining the upper handlebar assembly to the lower handlebars. Also loosen the shift rod hardware. Move the shift lever into the detent farthest to the left. Slowly rotate the handlebar assembly into the upright position while making sure the shift rod levers don't bind. Tighten the handlebar hardware and ensure the upper handlebar assembly is secure. Align the upper shift rod with the lower shift rod hardware set and tighten the shift rod hardware. Remove the hardware from the chute mounting bracket and set it aside. Install the chute over the base, align the pedestal with the mounting bracket and reinstall the hardware removed in the previous step. At this point, we're only going to finger tighten the hardware because we want the chute to remain loose. Remove the tapping screw retaining the gear cover to the chute pedestal and remove the cover. Remove the spring clip from the chute gear hub. 
This is easiest by pushing on the end of the spring clip with the needle nose pliers. Insert the chute rotation rod through the bushing under the dash panel and into the chute gear hub. Align the holes in the rod with the holes in the gear hub and reinstall the spring clip. Now we can tighten the chute hardware. Reinstall the chute gear cover to the chute pedestal with its original screw. Install the chute cable hanger onto the chute rotation rod and position the cable end on top of the lower handlebars. Move the chute deflector lever to the rearmost detent on the dash panel. Remove the hairpin and the bushing from the deflector lever under the dash. Pull the rubber boot away from the cable anchor and insert the anchor into the anchor bracket. Install the cable eyelet onto the deflector lever and reinstall the bushing and hairpin removed earlier. Check the function of the chute rotation rod and the chute deflector lever. Remove the auger gear case fill plug and check that the gear case has oil. Gear case oil is dark red and should appear on the bottom of the plug. If no gear case oil is present, set this unit aside and contact Aaron's customer support. If oil is present in the gear case, reinstall the fill plug and tighten. Push the handlebars down and move the unit off the crate pallet. The higher you raise the housing, the easier it is to move the unit off the pallet. Remove the wrapping from the housing, the top of the engine, the dash panel, and from the back of the engine. Remove the literature pack that's hanging off the handlebars. The literature pack contains the operator's manual, engine manual, and other important resources. If you remove the cleanout tool while unpacking the crate, place it back into the holder on the top of the housing. Remove the dipstick from the engine and verify the oil level is correct. The oil level should be within the markings on the dipstick, but if no oil is present or if the oil level is outside the markings on the dipstick, do not start the unit and contact the retailer where you purchased your unit from. See, I told you that was going to be easy. Now before you start throwing snow, do a final walk around of your product. If you notice any quality issues like damage or missing parts, contact the retailer where you purchased your unit from for replacements. But if your snow throw was everything you expected, register your new unit at errands.com forward slash registration. For help registering your new product, find the product registration instructional video on the Errands YouTube channel. And finally, if you guys like this video and want to see more helpful content from Errands, click on the subscribe button to be notified whenever we share a new video that shows you how to service or use your Errands snow throw.